Hey guys, what's up? It's Grace, and today I'm doing my March book haul. I have gotten quite a few books this month. I have like 19 books to show you. I, some I got for review, some were pre-orders, and then some I just bought. Before I get into the books, I want to mention that one of my Instagram friends just created a booktube channel, and I think you guys should check it out, so I will link that down below. The first thing I want to show you is not a book, but it is book-related, and that is Literary Listography, My Life, or My Reading Life in Lists. I saw Raylene uh, haul this or talk about, I don't know where, what video I saw it in, but uh, one of her videos, and it's basically just a list of things like dystopian books I love, um, my favorite science fiction books, just a bunch of cool lists, and I think it's just such an awesome idea, and I definitely will be filling this out. So moving on to the books, the first thing I got is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I ordered this on Amazon, and the person who put this dust jacket on aligned it not so awesome, so it's all crooked and it's bugging me, but that's okay. We've got bigger problems. Um, from what I know, this book it follows a guy named Kel. Yep, it follows a guy named Kel who goes from parallel Londons. He, there's like four Londons or something. I recently read Vicious by V.E. Schwab in January and I loved it, so I'm very much looking forward to reading this. Next book I got is a pre-order and that is Confess by Colleen Hoover. If you guys know, I adore Colleen Hoover. Um, I love all of her, or not all of her books. The only book that I didn't like was Slammed, but other than that I've loved all of her books and I've heard promising things about this one and, whoa. I just realized that this is a lady here. There's her eyes and her lips. That's really cool. Yeah, anyway, um, I don't know what this book is about because I usually don't know what Colleen Hoover's books are about. I just jump right in. So yeah, I'm excited. This book I got, I am so excited to read. If you guys saw my Q&A, you know that I, one of my favorite movies is Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart, and it's on Netflix. If you guys haven't seen it, I definitely recommend you go watch it. Uh, and a lot of you said that it was a book, so that made me really happy, and I bought it, and it's The Boy and the Cuckoo Clock Heart by Matthias Melizieux. I don't know, it's French, so I can't really pronounce it efficiently. But it follows a boy named Jack who is born in Edinburgh in 1874 and he's born on the coldest day on earth. So the midwife has to take out his frozen heart and replace it with a clockwork one. Clockwork one. And he has three rules. The first one is he can't mess with his heart, he can't lose his temper, and he can't fall in love. And things go awry and he is just, oh, it's just such a great movie. I don't know about the book, but great movie and I'm excited to read this. The next book I got, I was recommended by a worker at Barnes & Noble, and that is Dreamer's Pool by Juliette Marillier. I know that Juliette Marillier is a very well-known adult high fantasy writer. I have not yet read any of her work, but from what I know, a lot of people enjoy her writing. I read a couple pages of this in Barnes & Noble, and from what I read, it's about a girl named Blackthorn who's been in a dungeon for about a year, and today is her trial day, or, you know, where she's tried if she's innocent or guilty, and uh, the writing was really pretty, and this is also a dual perspective book. It is told by Blackthorn and Grimm, and Grimm is a guy that she is in the dungeons with. The cover is so pretty. The next book I got, I am excited and a little creeped out and scared to read, and that is You by Caroline Kepnes. This follows a guy who owns a bookstore, and one day a girl walks into his bookstore and he's like immediately attracted to her, and he becomes her stalker, and he also becomes her boyfriend, and it's creepy, and she doesn't know he's her stalker, and it's written in second person, which, well, that's just gonna be so creepy, but also awesome. I was watching one of Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey's video, and she read this, and I believe she liked it. I think she just th thought that it was really creepy, and I'm, ex I'm so excited to read this, because I just don't know what to expect. Next book I got is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. I was a little bit iffy on getting this book because I didn't really enjoy Holly Black's previous novel, um, The Coldest Girl in T Cold Town, but this is about fairies and I love fairy books. And just because fairies are just such manipulative, very creative truth tellers and I just find them super interesting. So I hope, hopefully I will enjoy this book. The next book I got is Into the Steel Blue by Veronica Rossi. This is the third and final book in the Under the Never Sky trilogy, which I've enjoyed so far. So I hope I will enjoy this one. I am very excited to see how it all concludes. Yeah, excited. The next book I got is Ink by Amanda Sun. I don't really know much about this book, but it deals with Japanese culture, which I'm very excited to read and the cover is so pretty, it has like watercolors, and I've heard a lot of good things about this book. 
Next book I got is a new release this month, and that is Bone Gap by Laura Ruby. This follows a girl named Rosa who is kidnapped from her small town, and no one in the town really sees it as a surprise because uh, it's not very uncommon that people go missing in the town. But a boy named Finn knows that she's been kidnapped. He doesn't know by who because his memory is fuzzy or something. But uh, this book deals with magical realism, and I'm so excited to read this. It sounds like it's gonna be sad, but it's just also sounds like a really moving story. The next book I got is Firefight by Brandon Sanderson. This is a sequel to Steelheart, which I recently read this month and I really enjoyed it, and I immediately picked up the sequel. I'll talk about what um, the series is about in my wrap-up. Next book I got is so, so beautiful, and that is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson in the beautiful UK edition. I know this book is about twin princesses, and that's all I know, that's all I wanna know, and I'm just excited to read it. Next book I got is Fire by Kristen Kishore. This is the sequel companion novel to Graceling, which I recently read and really enjoyed. And the premise sounds awesome. It follows a girl named Fire who can control anyone's mind except the prince, except Prince Brigand. So that sounds cool and mysterious. The next book I got is The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. The reason why I picked this up was because it sounded a little bit like the Shatter Me series by Tahar Mafi, which I really love and it's about a girl who is the executioner for her kingdom because her touch is lethal and she doesn't like the position she's put in so she's trying to get out of it that's all i know that's all i want to know and i've heard a couple mixed things about this but i am looking forward to reading it this book i got is death sworn by leah cypress or lee cypress this fall is a girl whose magic is dwindling so she's exiled from her kingdom and is sent to go teach assassins sorcery so that sounds really cool. Sarah J Moss blurbed this and she said she really liked it and I trust her judgment. The next book I got is one of my most anticipated releases of this year and that is The Winner's Crime by Marie Ritowski or Ritowski, whatever. Um, I love The Winner's Curse by her and I'm just looking forward to reading this. I've been on Goodreads watching people's updates while reading this and they're just freaking out which <laughs> sounds cool so I'm excited but also a little scared and a little nervous, but that's good. Moving on to the books that I got for review. The first one is Volition by Lily Paradis. I have actually already read this and I reviewed it, so if you want to check out my thoughts and what this book is about, I will link my review down below. The next book I received is Bound by Duty by Stormy Smith. From what I know, this is a new adult urban fantasy about witches, which sounds super cool and that's all I want to know. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, so I'm very much looking forward to reading it. And the last book I received is Broken Skies by Teresa Kay. People say this is a little bit reminiscent to The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, which is one of my all-time favorite sci-fi reads, and I am very much looking forward to reading this. If it, ha you know, it has aliens, super awesome, post-apocalyptic, good stuff. All right, so those are all the books that I got in March. Comment down below if you've read any of these and what your thoughts are, and then comment down below and tell me some of the books that you got this month. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.